being crushed by all this pressure. A whole kilogram is being pushed down on every square centimeter of my body. 103 kilopascals. Ah! Actually, one kilogram for every square centimeter on your body is the exact kind of pressure that you and I are under at all times every day. We don't notice it because we're used to it, but it sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well, it is. Here's an experiment you can do with a plastic bottle. Say, at room temperature, there are 10 million air molecules in here. Doesn't really matter how many, but we'll say there's 10 million at normal room temperature. What happens if I heat up the air inside this bottle? This is warm water. What I'm trying to do is heat up the air inside the bottle because the air molecules, when they get hotter, move faster and need more room. So the 10 million air molecules are starting to escape out the mouth of the bottle and reducing the number of air molecules inside. And now I take the bottle out and cap it. Because the air molecules heated up and speeded up, they needed more room. Now there's less of them in the bottle. There's about 4 million air molecules inside this bottle, but they're all hot air molecules and they have a higher pressure and you don't notice it because the air out here isn't crushing the bottle. But watch what happens if I cool the air inside the bottle. This is ice water. So what's happening now is the molecules are slowing down and they need less space. So they need less room and they're being crushed by the pressure on the outside of the bottle. Ha <laughs> ha! It has been crushed because the colder air molecules don't need the same kind of room as the hot air molecules. The room temperature air has crushed the bottle. The air inside has a lower pressure than the air outside. Pretty amazing. Even more amazing when we max it out. This is a steel drum. What we've done is we put some water in it and we're heating it up to boiling so there's nothing but hot air inside the drum. This is an airtight cap, which we use to seal the drum. And now we cool the drum off. Hey, Trevor, give me a hand. Ready? One, two, three, you lift! That's good. This pool is filled with ice. What we're doing now is cooling off the steel drum, which will cool off the air inside it. Which means, eventually, the air inside the steel drum will be much lower pressure than the air outside the steel drum. Because the steel drum has a lot more volume than a two liter pop bottle, it takes a lot longer for the air to cool down. The other thing to think about is that it's a steel drum. I could stand on it and it wouldn't even dent. But sure enough, after a few minutes... Whoa! Check it out! The barrel has totally crushed. The low pressure air inside the barrel wasn't enough to withstand the force of the regular air pressure that you and I walk through every day. The air pressure all around us is enough to crush a steel drum. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>